Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, September 12th, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Today we got more patches from Apple, again patching one of the two Saturday vulnerabilities that have already been exploited. Only one of them, but this time for the older operating systems. This is just a patch for the image IO vulnerability, CVE 2023-41064. Not sure if there is still yet another patch coming then for the wallet uh, vulnerability or if that one doesn't necessarily apply to these older operating systems. But remember the image IO, that's the vulnerability that actually did allow the code execution. The wallet vulnerability just sort of assisted in the exploitation of this vulnerability. And then we got an interesting attack against uh, Wi-Fi networks. Uh, this particular attack uh, was dubbed YKI Eve, and its uh, vulnerability allows the limited decryption of some numeric input. Now, the way this works is that uh, modern uh, Wi-Fi networks use something called beamforming, uh, where an access point is essentially trying to direct a Wi-Fi beam at a particular device in order for this to work the device itself is then reporting back information about basically the signal quality it receives and that's the beam forming feedback information the beam forming feedback information is not encrypted and what it essentially allows for is that an attacker can measure by intercepting that signal, what the signal strength is between the access point and the mobile device, in particular for a mobile device where a user is using an on-screen keyboard, the hand movement is intercepting and interfering with uh, the beam. So the hand position on the keyboard can essentially be derived by looking at these uh, signals. This is an attack that is far from perfect. I think they said something like about 50% success in sort of getting like uh, pins and the like. That's why it's only really working against numbers because on a numeric keyboard on a phone, you sort of have a larger target area for a particular number. But uh, then again, the numbers are often used like for pins and account numbers and such. So uh, that's why there is still sort of some significance here how realistic this all is and uh, how well this would work sort of outside the lab i think has to be seen but it's an interesting attack and a little bit odd that this beam forming information is uh, transmitted clear but then again wi-fi sort of has this history of using clear text for a lot of this sort of management information which has been a problem in the past And it's always amazing how uh, phishing uh, attackers are coming up with uh, new ways uh, to host their pages and send their emails. The latest example is described by a blog from Checkpoint, and uh, it goes over how Google Looker Studio is being used. I wasn't actually even familiar this product exists, but apparently it uh, can be used sort of to visualize uh, data. And one feature Looker Studio has is that uh, once it's done uh, with uh, creating the visualization, it can send you an email. And that feature is being abused here then to basically send an email to the victim. This is an email that comes from a legitimate uh, Google product. So it passes all the DMARC, DKIM and the like uh, checks because it is a valid email from Google. It claims to come from Google. And then within Google Looker Studio, so when you click on the link that again goes to the legitimate Google product, well, the attacker then set up a typical phishing page in this particular case, apparently sort of a crypto coin themed. Checkpoint, of course, uh, suggests that their solution uh, will be able to protect you from some of uh, these scam emails. On the other hand, uh, not sure if AI is the real solution against these crypto coin scams. Maybe a little bit more sort of human intelligence on the defending defending side here uh, would help uh, to defend against some of these fairly obvious uh, scams. 
And in uh, patches and exploits, uh, we uh, do have a new vulnerability in HP Enterprises uh, One View product. Uh, it's an authentication bypass. So uh, definitely something that you do want to address with a CVSS score of 9.8. And then there's also an exploit that was released for Apache Superset. Uh, this is a little bit older vulnerability, CVE 2023 27524. Horizon 3 has now published additional details about this vulnerability, including a proof of concept exploit. The vulnerability itself uh, was released back in April of this year. Well, that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.